Hello, everyone. Today, I wanted to go over the uh, new chat interface, the new agent workspace. Um, there's going to be some enhancements that I think you guys will really find useful. Uh, and I wanted to start with showing you how live chats come in. So you'll still get your standard uh, notifications from the app or the web browser. When a chat comes in, it'll show red here, meaning that it's incoming. You'll select it, and then the accept button is down here. Once you click that, you're now connected to the customer and you can start chatting with them. Over here, uh, the general tab info that you're used to in the old version is now over here under request info. So you'll see everything they filled out in the pre-chat form. You'll have their details. So you'll see where they came from, the current page they're on, the landing page they hit. You'll see their computer specs here. If you're using secure forms, they will be listed here. Your history will be shown here. So this was the call history. So now it's just called history. Requests will be any previous chats or tickets they had with you. So you can review those here. And if you need to see the page views, they will be listed under pages. And of course you can still add notes. Over here to the right-hand side is where your canned responses are now going to sit. So each of your canned response folders will be here. And then you can go in and click in to get the responses and send them into chat. Your secure forms will be here. So if you're looking to send information to get like credit cards or anything like that, and you're used to doing that, they are now sitting over here on the right-hand side. And your chat tags are also over here as well. And the search bar will search at the bottom here through what you need, uh, depending on what you have selected here. This way you can do quick searches to get through folders of responses or tags. Now, all of your chat tools are sitting down here in this little ellipsis area. So you're gonna be able to go in here and add your files. So if you need to add a file request to a customer, you can do that. You have your animated GIF option here. You can transfer chats. So all of the stuff that you guys are used to is all connected here. It's all part of the system. And as you use the tools, they'll pop out here to the left-hand side, kind of like taking tools out of a toolbox, but they'll all sit here, so they're all readily available. And of course, your canned response suggestions will still be down here and uh, you'll be able to easily go back and forth uh, with the customer. And then of course, when the customer responds, you're still going to get the same notifications. It'll still ring and the chat color will change to uh, yellow, letting you know that you need to reply. So all of that will still remain. Up here at the very top, you have your uh, ability to go on and offline. So when you're online, you'll be green. When you're offline, you'll be orange. And uh, until about June or somewhere around there, we don't know exactly, but you will have the ability to switch back to the classic panel um, until we remove it. So if you forget something, you'll still be able to switch back and forth and have uh, no problem there. You also are gonna have the ability to customize the look and feel of this. So if you want your workspace to be bigger, you wanna take some of this stuff away, you can always collapse it and bring it back. You're also going to have the ability to edit the panel layouts here. So if you want to switch things around, you absolutely can. You also are going to have the ability to do um, dark mode. So if you guys are getting too strained on your eyes, you can switch it to dark mode and that way it'll be a lot easier to work with. You can access the uh, admin panel by clicking this gear icon and the analytics also here. So you click on these and then it'll bring you back into the normal admin space or analytics area. And you can still get right back into the agent workspace through here. You're also going to have a couple of new key features that are quite interesting. So down here, um, you can still chat with your agents. So I'm going to actually demonstrate a few options here. So I'm going to reach out to one of my coworkers here and have them actually uh, demonstrate one of the cool new uh, guidance options is what I like to call it, where you can actually see what people your staff are typing to your customers before it's sent over to them. And of course, I'm also going to demonstrate the whisper functionality as well as part of this. But I'm going to switch this off of dark mode uh, for the moment just to uh, make it easier for everybody in the video. So you can see here, Jessica's typing and you can see she typed and then she sent over the whisper. So you can see here, it's much easier to not only the whispering is still works the same way and you get the uh, whisper notification, but you can also see what she's continuing to type to uh, the customer. So as you're looking over live chat, you'll be able to see them typing. 
also, you can see what the customers are typing as well. So this way, if someone's taking a long time to send an answer, you'll have that ability to be able to start working on a response. There's also options here to see when messages are read and when they're delivered. So that way you don't have to wonder, did they see my last message? That'll actually be included there. You can see that. There's also a save to canned option that is coming out or has come out where you're able to actually save canned responses to a folder. The way it works is if you answer a question, you're like, this would be a great canned response, but I don't have admin privileges. You can click save to canned and do save to personal folder if you have that permission. Otherwise, you'll hit save for approval and that'll go to your admin. So when they go into the canned responses, they see that you've submitted one and they can add that in if they want. That way you don't have to have a whole conversation of, hey, um, can you add this canned response? It'll just be one click done and then you can keep going. But um, I'm really excited that everyone's gonna be able to get onto this because I think being able to see what your staff are typing to customers is great for training and seeing what they're typing before they send it to you is gonna be great to work on answers, especially if they're typing out a long response. So uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy this and please uh, let us know if, if you know your feedback. We, we'd love to hear it. Thank you and have a great day.